So what is the first thing your girl does as soon as the UK relaxes its lockdown? She goes shopping. Yes, everything that you see behind me and some things in front of me are actually what I bought very recently in the last couple of weeks. It's a bit naughty, but I thought, you know what, there's some really good deals out there, namely from Bista Village and Louisa Via Roma. So I wanted to share some of these great deals with you guys in the off chance that you guys might be having summer holidays right now or looking for a place to spend all that hard-earned cash from the last six months. I don't know about you, but I've saved the most money that I have in my life at this point of lockdown. So actually there's some things that I wanted for a long time that I've held off on during the lockdown because obviously there wasn't a need, but now that we are slowly returning back to normality, I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to get these items, invest in them, and I also wanna share them with you in the off chance that you are interested in getting these items as well. And honestly, I wanna say that a lot of these items, in fact, I wanna say all of them were like really, really, really discounted. You know me, I don't buy anything full price, so I'm very, very pleased with these finds. So anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it. And I'm gonna start by talking about the thing that I'm actually wearing. And I will stand up, but I'll also put modeling photos as well, or videos, just so that you can actually see the shape. These are my favorite jeans ever. These are Stella McCartney cotton jeans. And these are high-waisted, they're like an acid wash. They're honestly my first pair of acid wash jeans. I know, I know where I've been. Uh, it's quite late in life for me to start adding acid wash to my life now, but honestly, as soon as I tried these on yesterday, because I had a bit of an issue with the sizing, I got a size 25 now and it fits perfect. Like it gives me such a nice hourglass shape. I love how it looks. It really cinches me in and also doesn't flatten my bum to a pancake, which some jeans do. Also doesn't give you like this camel toe vibe, which a lot of other jeans that I've tried on that are acid wash have done. That aside, these jeans were actually bought on Louisa Via Roma and they were bought on like the 50% almost discount. Uh, I, I shop on there quite a lot. I'm now a a platinum member i got these like just for you discounts and louise via roma i've always said this in my previous videos they're really good for discounts for their loyalty points and their just general scheme as well and you can also get cash back if you shop through websites like top cashback or quidco so even bigger bonus there and so i was just scrolling online one day and i saw this offer and it was on this pair of jeans admittedly it was a pair of jeans i saw first on in the fro she had it on one of her vlogs and it looks so good. And so I, I've been in the market for acid wash jeans for quite some time now anyway. Didn't think they were right for me though with my body type or just with like this whole camel toe vibe that I was having from other acid wash jeans that I was tried on. So I was really pleasantly surprised when I got these jeans. Um, I did order a 26, I think they go by the waist. So I did have a 26 waist come in first and then it was actually too baggy around like the legs. They were kind of like, fat around the legs and the ankles which was odd because i felt like the um the bum area fit fine but then i decided to size down because denim stretches as you know over time and so i got the 25s and i absolutely love this pair of jeans now they fit super super snug they're perfect and i they will stretch i think over time and they're already starting to mold to my body which is awesome and the lighting is doing some strange things so there we go. Hopefully the lighting is better now. The sun is doing weird things. Anyway, um, so this pair of jeans was retailing at a whopping, I think it was like £400 on Louisa Via Roma, which I like a bit of bouge, but £400 for a pair of jeans? Like, excuse me. That's a lot, okay? I'm not going to spend that kind of money on a pair of jeans that will go in the wash. I think this could go in the wash anyway. I'm not going to dry clean it. I ain't got time for that in lockdown. You know, it's a pair of jeans. They fade over time. They get stretched out and 400 pounds, you know, I could spend that on like five pairs of jeans. But, um, so I held off though. After a while I saw, obviously Louisa V. Roma does a lot of codes and loyalty discounts. And so I just held out a little while longer because jeans will always be in season. So, um, you know, I was just waiting till they get a new collection, but I could actually wear these all year round. So uh, I think these are from the spring summer collection anyway. So obviously now we're moving into fall and winter. So that is when I saw a discount code come up for me for 40% or 45% off, I think, which is amazing, right? It's like half price. 
So I managed to get these for like £200, which is awesome. And I think I probably got cash back as well, which would, fingers crossed, that goes through. Uh, and that will also be probably like 8% off as well. So I'm very, very happy, as you can tell, with my purchase of these jeans. I do have another pair of Stella McCartney jeans. Um, they're like this star print pair of jeans. And I got those in a waist 27, and those were like um, low rise as well. So this is being a high rise, you know, I got a 25 and so I would definitely recommend buy a couple of sizes if there is a promotion code on for whether it be this pair of jeans or other clothes that you do like on Louise of the Aroma because now you do have to pay for delivery which I do find a little bit strange and a little bit annoying because I'm paying so much money already why are you charging for delivery I think it's the new thing that Louise of the Aroma has started to do so I would definitely recommend in that case buy a few sizes if you can afford it, cash flow things, or other items that you're interested in as well so that you can make the most of that delivery and also the time sending stuff back and then receiving the refund. You may as well, you know, just buy everything up front and then exchange or just get a straight away refund. That's everything about this pair of jeans. I love them, they are a staple. And if Stella McCartney makes more of these styles of jeans, I love the high-waisted style. Um, and the detail of the V as well, I think is really cool. It just adds to the illusion of an even more hourglass figure. Then I'll absolutely invest more in the future. But again, probably on Louise V Roma and also for a discounted price. So even knowing how amazing this fit is, etc. Um, I do have a lot of ASOS jeans that also do the trick, albeit lesser quality because this is made of sustainable cotton and it's very eco-friendly which i do like um, but it is expensive for what it is so hold out for a good discount code is my suggestion but it is worth a little bit of the spend um, if you want to invest in them because they fit amazing next i'm going to move on to my vista village items of which i have three here to show you and the first one I actually have on my lap because I couldn't find the bag for this and to be honest it's probably a good thing because the bag was really really thin like rubbish paper and so it wouldn't have added anything and that is actually from Gucci surprisingly and it's not the white bag with the black outline that you're always used to no it's like a black bag with a white outline and it was really really thin paper in fact all these bags from Vista are really thin quality for obvious reasons I'm sure that's just a side comment but the thing that I want to show you is an accessory from Gucci and I don't really buy into Gucci that much uh, so you know obviously when you go to Vista Village uh, for those of you who haven't been it's a designer outlet mall it's very very famous in the UK I think there's chains around the world and I go there ritualistically probably once every year two years to pick up some deals and I actually had an Amex offer uh, not to talk financials uh, that much on this channel, but I had an American Express offer of like spend 500 pounds, get 50 back. And so I was like, hell yeah, I'm out of lockdown. And honestly, like they have the best selection of brands aside from I think Hermes and Chanel, all the big brands that you can think of like actually have stores there and really big discounts and they were just tempting me so there I went went into Gucci as a staple there's always queues at the door but actually it was really really safe being there during Covid times because of all the hand washing stations the virtual queuing etc went into Gucci wasn't really expecting to find anything but lo and behold I came out with this Gucci scarf and it looks small because I folded it up so actually this is quite a big scarf and it's a long scarf as well and so it's very very thick you can see how thick it is compared to i guess my head <laughs> it's probably the same length um and it's incredibly long i want to say it's probably like almost two meters uh which is awesome because you can wrap it around multiple times and it acts like a kind of shawl when you're really cold i haven't been that cold yet but i'm looking forward to being able to wear this in autumn which is coming around the corner because honestly this weather has just been downhill since the few you know heat wave moments that we've had but um yeah this is a really long scarf that has a um reversed kind of monogram design on each side so you've got the gray and lighter gray and then you've got the reverse on the other side which i quite like as a nice detail because it makes it almost like two in one and uh, i believe it's completely wool let me just see and have a look it is made of 100 percent lana wool or or it's just wool maybe lana means wool in a, another language but anyway um this scarf i believe i got it 
for around 150 pounds if that which honestly i find is a bargain for gucci standards because obviously i'm using like air quotes when i when i say these kinds of things obviously it's luxury right but for a wool scarf and for a big brand like gucci I think it's actually quite a good deal and it's probably one of the cheapest items you can get from Gucci ever because I remember even buying like my Gucci uh, Marmont belt that was almost 200 pounds or even the other pink Gucci scarf that my mum got me I think that was like 200 as well and that was from the airport so very pleased with this nothing else to say really about this one apart from it contributed to my getting the 500 pounds and then getting the 50 pounds rebate from American Express. That's just something to mention. I think the offer's probably expired now, but they always do those kind of good deals. So anyway, I'm not gonna encourage, um, you know, I'm not gonna be a financial advisor on this channel. Definitely not. Um, but I guess that kind of helped justify the shopping that I did at Bista. So that is my beautiful scarf and I will fold it properly later. Gosh, I can imagine just, if my mum was to ever watch this, that she'd be like, fold it properly all right mom i'm gonna fold it um and i'll deal with it later but anyway love this a lot and look forward to using it okay so we are now gonna head into the back and grab an item that i bought from top and of course it's a pair of shoes and you can probably imagine what pair of shoes i got from todd's because it is their flagship product i guess and it, I can't believe I waited this long to get one, to be honest. And it's a pair of their driving shoes. And it's a funny thing, actually, because I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, Todd's driving shoes, who actually uses it for driving? Because in case I didn't actually broadcast this on my channel so far, I've definitely done it on my Instagram if you've been following me there. Shameless self promo. But I did announce that I bought a car recently, a cute little Toyota car. I'm trying to avoid public transport where possible. But I bought myself a hybrid car so as to be eco-friendly. And I wanted a pair of Todd's shoes as probably just an excuse just to get a nice pair of Todd's shoes. But I wanted the driving shoes because because in my head I thought they're cool driving shoes people must use them to drive they look really comfortable what's not to love about them so I did a lot of searching online I actually went and bought a pair of Ukes one of the Netta Porter affiliated websites and they just fit so weird like I didn't know this but like Todd's fit like a good one size bigger than they should and so I'm usually a size UK four and a half or five and I kept buying like size four and a half and even fours from the Ukes. I kept doing the return thing and they just did not fit. Like they were still massive. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna head up to Bista. There's a Todd's there. It's not only gonna allow me to try them on for size and know which size I am going forward, but also it's gonna be hella discounted. So why not? So anyway, this was actually, I think this was in the chronology. This is probably the first item I got from Bista. And um, I'm gonna show you guys now and stop rambling. And it is actually a pair that wasn't on display. We got talking with the um, sales associate. I was actually gonna get a pair of red Todd's and the beautiful snake skin. I was there with my mum and you know, we were gonna get matching Todd's, but then um, before like going to check out, my mum wanted to pair as well. And so she actually, the, the sales assistant was really, really lovely. She was bringing out stuff from the back that wasn't there. And actually this pair of shoes came out from the back. We thought they were stunning, but they were only my size. So we did a little switcheroo with my mum. So she got the nice red snakeskin shoes, which were actually, side note, cheaper than this pair of shoes, despite being snakeskin. But anyway, I'm not gonna touch the bottoms because I have worn them out. And it is this stunning pair of, um, I think they're the Gamino, um, Gomino driving shoes, but it's like these, got these beautiful studs on the sides. It's got, it's a tricolor. It's black and white on the top with the nude um, detailing as well. And I'm gonna take these inserts out so you can see it a bit better because the orange was a bit in your face, but there you have it. That is the shoes in question and they're beautiful like loafer styles, but with um, the kind of, I don't know what you call these. <laughs> like, they kind of look like others, don't you think? But they're very nice and grippy. Like I've, I've worn these out a couple of times to, to drive and then also just to actually break them in because this leather is hard, right? 
and actually they're really non-slip and so I get why people like to buy these because they're very comfortable albeit I don't think people use them for driving I've not seen many people use them for driving but there you go I'm going to use them for driving and um, you know maybe I'll keep these in the car but they also look so stylish just on that you know you could just wear these out and about so I'm very very pleased with these and I love the neutral colour. In fact, I'm actually quite glad that I didn't get the red ones. I'm sorry, the light is really peeing me off as well. And I'm actually kind of glad in hindsight that my mum got the red. She likes to wear red a lot more. And although I love the colour red, I do find it, I guess, hard to style with my current wardrobe. It's very much neutral tones. And actually this fits a lot better with my usual go-to outfits. So. With that being said, in terms of pricing and things like that, so I believe these are RRP 400 pounds. I got this for, I think, about 250 pounds. I do have the receipt. They were also doing a promotion for um, if you buy a pair of Todd's shoes that you can get one of their bags half price. I mean, I wasn't in the market for a Todd's bag, but if that's something that you wanna look into, like definitely go and check that out because that's an even better deal, right? Um, yeah, so my pair of shoes, okay, my pair of shoes was 260 pounds, but get this, my mum's snakeskin pair was already discounted, I think from probably like 600 to 300. And then it had like another sticker on top, which discounted it by another 90 pounds. So her shoes were, 210 pounds for real snakeskin. Like, I'm not always about the exotic life, <laughs> but her shoes were cheaper, and mine were just leather. Like, just leather. But anyway, I thought that was amazing. Um, and I got mine in a size 37, in case you're interested. I'm usually, I, I, in the red, I was a size 36 and a half European, which is a three and a half in UK. Like, I'm usually a four and a half or five. Like, how on earth? Am I a three and a half in a pair of shoes? I couldn't tell you. But anyway, in this pair of shoes, because I guess it's leather and it's less um, soft compared to the, the snake skin one, that this became a 37. And I'm glad for that because my feet expand in the afternoon and at the time it was like early kind of morning, so it didn't expand. And so I thought, oh, I should probably maybe size down even more to a 36 and a half. So glad I didn't because this was already kind of tight. And breaking these in has also been quite challenging, but I've accepted said challenge and they are actually softening up a lot nicer uh, than when I first got them. But there you have it, my first pair of Todd's shoes. And now for the final item in this haul, and it is from Prada, and I, oh, and it's quite heavy. Two hands. And it is, as you can probably guess from the box, it's another pair of shoes, I know. Now, why do you need so many shoes for? I can't answer you that question. I think there's a quote, it's like, they just keep making them in my size, okay? <laughs> to be serious, I actually was in the market for a pair of these types of shoes anyway. Um, and instead of being cryptic, I'll just tell you, I got some like sandal espadrilles. Uh, I don't really own sandals because I live in the UK, what's the point? I did have sandals before or even other espadrille type of shoes or wedges. I had a castagna pair last year they got soaked in the rain in korea i had to chuck them away instantly it was pretty gross but yeah so i haven't really had sandals um all my shoes are like black boots basically or trainers there's no in between with me so i wanted an in between and so i was on the hunt really for a nice pair of sandals or something kind of casual that i could wear in summer i guess it'll be for next summer because summer's over in the uk in case you haven't noticed but anyway so this is a nice pair of like espadrille sandals. Is there a name for them? I don't know, but if there is, and I've just forgotten, just remind me in the comments, but it is this pair of Prada canvas kind of wedges or platforms. And as you can see here, and I, and I will do close-ups, it's got this like very understated Prada Milano logoing on the front. And again, sorry, lighting. Can't control it, mother nature, you know? She does what she wants. So this is a nice basic essential for your shoe collection, I feel. I don't obviously have many sandals or flip-flops, anything like that anyway. So I thought something neutral, something with a bit of height as well. I quite like that this isn't like the traditional flip-flop. It's got a lot more to it, a little platform, but not one that you'd fall over yourself. So elongates the leg really nicely. 
um, but it's also very, very comfortable. And so I just randomly saw this on the off chance in Prada. Like a lot of these items, I wasn't looking for them actively, but I had in my mind that that would be nice to get. And actually I was pretty pleased that I managed to find these in Prada because again, Prada, although they do sometimes do discounts and things like on sites like Louisa Via Roma and things like that. And it's not very often that these designer houses like Gucci as well will do big discounts anyway and they're always kind of I feel on the weirder items if you know what I mean and so when I saw these in the um in the store in the Prada store I was pleasantly surprised because usually the weird stuff goes on sale like in the Chanel sales right so saw these loved them loved the price too I think they were reduced again probably something ridiculous I bought these for £230 and I think these were about 40% reduced and I can imagine these being about £500 because in Chanel these are about five or £600 nowadays which is insane because it's canvas, a bit of leather but mostly canvas and woven kind of, what is this, like hay? <laughs> I'm not sure myself um, but I thought the price was pretty fair for what you get, so you get a lot more platform and a lot of material for your money compared to a Chanel espadrille. So I was very happy to add this to my collection and I think it's gonna go great with a lot of dresses, but also white t-shirt and jeans combo, like what I'm wearing, I think it will go great. Obviously I'm a bit mindful of the fact that, you know, when feet sweat and, you know, you can't really wash the canvas or the espadrille material, but hey ho, I'm gonna take as good care of it as possible and not get it caught in the rain like I did with my Castagna wedges in the past. So that is everything in this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you a little bit of inspo potentially to go and visit Bista or have a look on Louise Villaroma for any good deals yourself. Let me know if you've gotten anything in the last few weeks since the relaxation of lockdown wherever you are in the world and if there's any other deals that I should be looking out for let me know also because I'm just quietly looking at things for the future, you know? But anyways, that is everything. I will catch you in my next video.